Welcome to Consequences, the only choice that matters. And this is my 10 things you missed in the Return to Monkey Island trailer. We're going to list off 10 things that I'm not sure that you see in the trailer. And we'll start off with two bonus ones. This little guy brush drawing here and this little Elaine drawing here. The opening of the book is so quick in the trailer that it's easy to, to miss these sort of things. But the first thing I actually want to mention is right here at the front. We've got the three skulls, um, but the way that they're laid out is as if they're the three wise monkeys. You know the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, which I think is cool to include in the front of the book because obviously the three-headed monkey is um, you know, an, uh, um, a mascot for the Monkey Island franchise. But also, I think that the three qualities that um, a Monkey Island player needs, because what the proverb actually stands for is to be of good mind, of good speech, and of good action, which I think is perfectly encapsulates what you need to be to be able to play games like Monkey Island. So let's move on. We'll play. We'll watch the trailer, like a dream. and I'll stop when the next one's on. Wrong. I've been in enough scraps to fill it. Here it is. So this scene is obviously very recognisable. It's the spitting competition on Booty Island in Monkey Island 2. But what you may not have realised is that a one cake capsize can be seen in the background. Now she's not originally in this section of the game. Um, but I do wonder if her inclusion here is a nod to both the Sea of Thieves Easter egg for Monkey Island and a potential role in Return to Monkey Island. Because the Sea of Thieves things, if people don't know, she, um, draw, as part of their Pirates of the Caribbean collaboration, you can find Kate Capsize's ship and she's after Guybrush. Um, so I wonder if when that was released, that was basically the start of the ad campaign for Return to Monkey Island, because when it was released, uh, Return to Monkey Island had been in development. So I wonder if that was the start of some secret um, some secret advertising. And I wonder if it is a hint that K Capsize could be uh, coming back into Return to Monkey Island. Okay, let's carry on. I in scrapbooks. I've got stories about ships, fights, love, treasure, betrayal, and root beer. But how about one that has all of the above? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. And this is a story about the time I finally found the secret of Monkey Island. Okay, so here again, this is a recognisable scene, I'm sure. This is the jail cell on Melee Island. There's a familiar face here, Otis, back in jail. You can tell it's Otis by his... Um, by his necktie, purple necktie, back in jail, probably for picking flowers. But what you may not have noticed, because the scene flashes by so quickly, is the damage to the cell lock right here on Stan's cell. Now that is going to have been where Guybrush burns the cell open using the grog to free Otis in The Secret of Monkey Island. And I also think it's quite interesting that Otis is not in this cell so i think whoever's captured him realized he's escaped from this one before and decided he needs to be in this cell so that he won't escape again okay let's carry on god rush three wood right here I don't know if anyone noticed but on this sign right here it says Marley Foundation so that's going to be uh, Elaine Marley perhaps or if they're going to carry on with the Escape from Monkey Island reveal it could be Herman Toothrot Grandpa Marley's Foundation and I also believe that this is Dinky Island mainly because there's this parrot or what I believe is a parrot, uh, on top of the sign, which just reminds me of the parrot that you find near Herman Tufra on Dinky Island. So, yeah, my guess is that this is Marley Foundation on Dinky Island. 
Okay, right here again. Uh, so we've got Elaine and she's fighting some random pirate and there's some stuff on the back table there. But if you didn't notice, the earbud is still lodged in the giant monkey heads ear. So that's a nice little callback to the secret of Monkey Island when Guybrush lodges it in there to open the stairs. Okay, so this one, uh, you'll have to excuse me because uh, the YouTube barrier is in the way, but right down the bottom here, you can see that Murray is the figurehead for Guybrush's boat. Now, I wonder if that's something worth remembering as a solution to a puzzle. Maybe these fellas up here won't allow you to get near their boat unless you have some scary looking figurehead. And of course, who's the best man for the job? It's Murray. And here's our boy Wally, um, looking as happy as a clam. He's got his monocle on, and if you look at the table right here, you can see he's got either a pair of glasses or two monocles. And I reckon that those are backups that he has just in case Guybrush tries to nick his again, and then he's left in tears, not knowing, not being able to see. Now, if throughout all of these scenes, you can see that the um, the ground has been shaking between all of the scenes. So that was uh, the Chuck on possibly Monkey Island, the Lookout on Melee Island. This is um, a new character who's on, I'm guessing, Bermuda, which is a new island that's going to be in the game. And you can see that the ground is shaking all across, as well as here in the Scumba. So... Um, I wonder if that's a, a look at sort of a cataclysmic event that's going to occur during the game. And the last one that I've got for you is Grand Old Number 10, right at the back here. I'm sure you've all noticed the thing that's on fire that looks like either a dress or a wedding cake. Um, but now that I've highlighted it, I'm sure you've seen it, but there he is. There's Guy Brush hiding behind it. Um, so who knows what's going on in this scene. We've got a few characters and we've got our Ask Me About Loom fella and the, the poor scumbar chef running scared, doesn't know what to do. Um, so we'll have to wait and find out and see what happens. And then finally, did you see it? Right there, with a the little shooting star. Thank you very much for watching the video and if you are if you enjoyed the video um please like and subscribe it helps out more than you can know and if you've noticed anything else in the video that i didn't spot please let me know in the comments below let's get into it thank you so much